हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू के पी आई एस डेलीज कैर इनिशियटिव करंट अफेयर्स थ्रू रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग दीज आर दर्टिकल्स दैट विल बी सीन टूडे सी ए ए रूल्स नोटिफाइड दिस इज द आर्टिकल एंड द कंटेक्सट ऑल्सो सो द होम मिनिस्ट्री रिसेंटली नोटिफाइड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट एक्ट रूल्स ओके एंड these rules are notified 4 years after the law was passed and what does the law say the law paves way for hindus sikhs jain buddhist christian parsi refugees who have come to india before december 31st 2014 from afghanistan bangladesh and pakistan so th- this list and this list of countries is very important these are the list of communities and this is the list of countries okay so hindus sikhs jains buddhists christians parsis who have come to india before december 31st 2014 from countries like afghanistan bangladesh and pakistan will acquire indian citizenship without having a valid passport of these countries or an indian visa so certain illegal migrants you know now would be eligible for indian citizenship all right the refugees has to the refugee has to fulfill some qualifications and one of the qualifications is that the person must have resided in india or been in central government service for past 12 months and at least 11 years of the preceding 14 years he should be residing in india all right and there are certain exceptions where this amendment on citizenship for illegal migrants will not apply what are those areas the a tribal areas of assam meghalaya manipur not manipur mizoram mizoram and tripura included in the sixth schedule of the constitution this is an exception and the exception also includes the state regul- the states regulated by the inner line permit under the bengal eastern frontier regulations of 1873 all right and the sixth schedule tribal areas um, include karbi anglong in assam garo hills in meghalaya chakma district in mizoram and tripura tribal areas district in these states okay further the inner line permit regulations and the states associated with it are exempt from the ca rules and what are those states the states which have this inner line permit are arunachal pradesh nagaland mizoram and manipur okay what is inner line permit this inner line permit regulates the visit of all persons including citizen indian citizens to these states okay which religious communities are eligible for indian citizenship under the citizenship amendment act 2019 hindus buddhists christians sikh christian parsi jain yes all of them now consider the following statements aadhar card can be issued as a proof of citizenship or domicile this is wrong because section 9 of aadhar act 2016 states that the aadhar number or authentication thereof shall not by itself confer any right or a proof of citizenship or domicile in respect of aadhar number holder that is explicitly mentioned in section 9 so this is wrong once issued aadhar number cannot be deactivated or omitted by the issuing authority who is the issuing authority it is the uidai right the aadhar act regulation states that the aadhar number can be deactivated or omitted by the uidai so this is also wrong so the answer is d agricultural drones and namo drone dvds what is the context the context is that honorable prime minister of india participated in सशक्त नारी विकसित भारत सशक्त नारी विकसित भारत प्रोग्राम एंड विटनेस एग्रीकल्चरल ड्रोन डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन कंडक्टेड बाय नमो ड्रोन दीदीज एट इंडियन एग्रीकल्चरल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट आई ए 
R I in New Delhi. All right. Now for prelims, some basics about Namo Drone Didi's are important. Okay. So Namo Drone Didi initiative is a government scheme designed to empower rural women through training in becoming drone pilots. Drone pilots for agricultural applications. Okay. The initiative's goal is to equip approximately. 15000 women led self help groups with agricultural drones enabling them to perform tasks such as crop monitoring seed sowing and application of fertilizers all right so this is about namo drone didis there is another program called lakhpati didi initiative actually it is lakhpati initiative lak is lack okay lack in is in hindi lack is in english okay thus lakh rupee aise bolte hai na so that is in hindi lakhpati didi okay lakhpati didi was a program launched on august 15th in the year 2023 with the primary goal of encouraging women to establish micro enterprises micro enterprises within their villages all right and under this program the government aims to train true two crore women particularly those in the self help groups to enable them to generate a sustainable annual income of at least rupees 1 lakh per household and this program is spearheaded by Deen Dayal Anto Antyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihoods Mission NRLM Now what is this Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana NRLM it is a flagship poverty reduction program implemented by which ministry it is Ministry of Rural Development okay and it aims to diminish poverty by facilitating poor households access to self employment and skilled wage employment opportunities Okay, so these are some basics about drone by um, Namo drone didis and Lakpati didi program and also Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana NRLM. Now here also there is a mention of SSG. Here also Lakpati didi program. Here also there is mention of SSG. So we'll see some basics about SSGs. The inception of SSGs can be traced back to 1975 in Bangladesh, which is credited to Muhammad Yunus of Chittagong University. Okay, so in Bangladesh, this was started. And coming to SSGs in India, it can be attributed to NABAD. What is NABAD? National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. And after that, this SSG movement gained prominence in the years 1991-92 when the integration of self-help groups happened with the bank that is SSG bank linkage program all right and self-help groups revolve around the principle of self-help fostering self-employment and poverty reduction all right Consider the following statements with reference to self-help groups they are generally government agencies that provide financial assistance no, this is wrong because self-help groups are voluntary associations of economically poor, usually drawn from the same socio-economic background and who resolve to come together for a common cause to solve their issues and problems through self-help community action. So this is wrong. The statement is wrong. Next, they promote self-employment initiatives and poverty alleviation through collective action. This is correct, right? This is also there, but before reading that, we'll just see which of the above statements is are incorrect. Okay, two is correct. So two shouldn't be there in the answer. This is gone, this is gone, this is gone. One is incorrect, three is also incorrect. Okay, if you want to cross check it, let's do that. The inception of SGs traces back to 1975 in South Africa. No, it's in Bangladesh. All right, now. Two of the schemes launched by Government of India for women's development are Swadhar and Swayam Siddha. As regards the difference between them, consider the following statements. Swayam Siddha 
is meant for those in difficult circumstances such as women survivors of natural disasters or terrorism no swayam siddha is not about that swayam siddha is about holistic empowerment of women okay swadhar is meant for holy no swadhar is meant for those in difficult circumstances such as women survivors of natural disaster okay so the first statement is wrong next swayam siddha is implemented through local self government bodies no it is through state government all right and swadhar is implemented through icds no it is through ministry of women and child development so both the statements are wrong which of the statements given above is a correct neither one not to rotamine b in news what is the context rotamine b is a industrial dye what is it it is a industrial dye which is not allowed in food anywhere in the world as it is toxic and recently the karnataka government prohibited the use of artificial colors in gobi manchurian and cotton candy in the state citing presence of cancer causing chemicals okay usually this gobi manchurian or that cotton candy that pink color one right so these use certain colors which are carcinogenic or cancer causing okay so what happens if you eat them excessively your body will be prone to cancer all right now what is this rhodamine b as i already mentioned it is a industrial dye this is food this is uh, this is industrial dye how are they linked because they are using this particular dye to prepare this candy okay it is usually a chemical used for dyeing in textile paper leather and paints industry it is a coloring agent but this chemical is used in this cotton candy which children usually eat right so some properties about rhodamine b it is water soluble it appears green in powder i mean it is a green powder and it turns vivid fluorescent pink when it comes in contact with water okay and as per food safety standards act food safety standards act 2006 preparation packaging importing and selling and serving food items with this chemical rhodamine b especially in the wedding ceremonies and other public events is a punishable offense okay why is it a punishable offense because it can cause damage to the cerebellum tissue okay it's part of brain right it can cause damage to this one and also to the brain stem that connects the brain to the spinal cord isn't it dangerous and such damage can lead to functional abnormalities and can hinder human's motor functions and this chemical is so toxic that it can cause oxidative stress on cells and tissues to extend that it can cause cancer so karnataka government has banned this particular usage of artificial colors in foods like gobi manchurian and cotton candy the same is the case with north goa all right in some parts they have banned these food items which of the following statements with regards to rhodamine b is are correct as per the food safety standards act 2006 preparation packaging important selling and serving food items with rhodamine b in wedding ceremonies and other public events is a punishable offense yes this is correct researchers have identified that a food containing rhodamine b chemical is consumed regularly it can cause damage to the cerebellum tissue in the brain this is also correct so c is the answer recently foot and mouth disease was in the news the foot and mouth disease is caused by it is caused by virus and it is caused in cloven hoofed animals okay that is animals having divided hooves like cows buffaloes deer pigs goats etc and it can spread through the breath saliva mucus milk and feces of the infected animal all right the second biggest man made methane leak ever what is the context the context is that scientists recently disclosed that a drilling incident at the exploration well in southwestern kazakhstan 
ओके टू बी प्रोसाइज द प्लेस इज मन के स्ताव रीच इन लास्ट ईयर रिजल्टेड इन वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट मैन मेड मीथेन लीक्स ओके द ड्रिलिंग इंसिडेंट एट द एक्सप्लोरेशन वेल कॉस्ट अ फायर दैट रीच बिटवीन जून and december 2023 and it released approximately 127000 tons of methane into the atmosphere this is the second biggest man made methane leak ever then what is the first one the first one was in the preceding year to 2023 that is in 2022 september underwater blast tore apart two pipelines carrying russian gas to germany releasing 2 lakh 30000 tons of methane into atmosphere and as you all know methane is a potent uh, greenhouse gas it is 28 times as potent as carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere and you know what the impact of such leak that has happened in 2023 is comparable to that of driving more than 7 lakh 17000 petrol cars for a year see this is the impact and concentration of methane in the atmosphere has more than doubled in the last couple of centuries and is responsible for around 30% of the rise in global temperatures since the industrial revolution and Kazakhstan some important tidbits about Kazakhstan for prelims it's a central asian country and its capital is Astana or Nur Sultan it ha- it shares border with the Caspian Sea and Aral Sea is in between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan and also you have Ural River to the left corner of Kazakhstan okay here you will have ural river yeah consider the following statements with reference to methane emissions methane emissions trap heat in the atmosphere yes it's a potent greenhouse gas so first one is correct methane is the second biggest driver of climate change after sulfur dioxide no methane is 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide right so the b- second biggest driver no this is wrong that to after sulfur dioxide not at all so which of the above statements is are correct it is only a consider the following carbon dioxide uh, carbon monoxide nitrogen oxide ozone sulfur dioxide excess of which of the above in the environment is are causes of acid rain acid rains are the result when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are emitted into the atmosphere and transported by wind and air currents and the precipitation which pours down is acidic that's why it is called acid rain okay so it is nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide all right so 2 and 4 b is the answer sipri report what does the report say the report says that india maintains its position as the world's leading arms importer with 4.7% increase in imports between 2014-18 and 2019-23 okay sipri so is a stockholm international peace research institute and it is dedicated to research into conflicts armaments arms control and disarmament and it was established in the year 1966 at at stockholm all right so this is the context and this is some info about sipri all right and coming to this statistics russian dominance russia remains india's primary arms supplier accounting for 36% of its imports that means 36% of arms that india is importing comes from russia all right also you have to note that this marks the first 5 year period since 1960 to 60 64 where russian deliveries constituted less than half of the india's import so from 1960 to 64 till the recent 5 year study it has happened only once that russia's contribution to india's import is only 36% which is less than 50% okay then what is the case with pakistan's arms import pakistan's arms imports are dominated by china all right 
and East Asian trends show that arms imports surged in two of China's neighboring countries with Japan experiencing about 155% increase and South Korea seeing a 6.5% rise. Okay. So these are some statistics and what are the other reports that CIPRI publishes? CIPRI publishes arms transfer arms transfer database military expenditure database nuclear weapons database conflict peace and security reports okay basically cipri is an independent body dedicated to research in conflict armaments arms control and disarmament right we've just seen in the introduction part so the reports are, uh, would be published by cipri based on the same topics okay Consider the following statements with re reference to the latest SIPRI reports. India's continued, India continued its status as the world's leading arms important. This is correct. U.S. emerged as India's main arms supplier, accounting for 36% of its imports. It is not U.S., it's Russia. Which of the above statements these are correct? Only first statement is right. Now, the Global Competitiveness Report published by World Economic Forum. Global Gender Gap Report is also published by World Economic Forum and this World Economic Forum was formed in the year 1971 and it is not a UN body. The Vyastra Mission. What is the context? The context is that PM Modi announces Mission Divyastra success, the Agni 5 missile with MIRV technology. What is MIRV technology? Multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. So it is related to Agni 5 missile with MIRV technology. Okay, now MIRV payload involves a single missile that is Agni 5 carrying four to six nuclear warheads each programmed to hit a separate target only a select group of nations have MIRV ca uh, capabilities what are those United States Russia China France United Kingdom and now India is joining this list okay and some basics about Agni 5 Agni 5 missile has the range up to 5000 kilometers and it can bring almost entire asia including the northernmost part of china as well as some regions in europe under its striking range it will greatly enhance the india's national security delivering multiple warheads at different targets with precession okay india has already carried out a number of tests of agni 5 however this was the first test carried with this technology mirv technology all right and government sources indicate that the project has been significant accomplishment by women and also has a female project director. See, we all know one name related to Agni 5 development. It's Tessie Thomas, Agni 4, Agni 5, Tessie Thomas. Okay. The identity of the project director and the scientists were not officially released due to security concerns, but the government sources said that significant woman contribution was there. Consider the following statements with reference to multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRB technology. MIRB technology enables a single missile to carry vehicle for satellite launch. Satellite? No, this is wrong. Because MIRV technology enables a single missile to carry, carry multiple warheads, enhancing its capability to strike multiple targets with precession. Okay, so this is wrong. The possession of MIRV equipped missiles is currently held by only Russia and India. No, we have seen the other five countries, US, UK, US, UK, China, France and Russia. Now India is joining that club. You should note that Israel isn't there. Israel is not having this technology. Okay, now MIRV technology allows a single missile to target multiple locations. Yes, this is correct. How many of the above statements these are correct? Only one statement is correct. With reference to Agni 4 missile, which of the following statements is are correct? It is a surface to surface missile. Yes. It is fueled by liquid propellant only? No, because Agni 4 is a two-state solid fuel system. Okay, so this is wrong. 
It can deliver one ton nuclear warheads about 7,500 kilometers away. No, this is wrong because the strike range is 4,000 kilometers. Okay, so these two are wrong. Only one is correct. Oscar Awards. The context is that 96th Academy Awards or Oscar Awards ceremony concluded with flair at the Hollywood in Los Angeles. Okay, and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. O Oppenheimer which is the story of an American scientist Robert Oppenheimer and his role in development of atomic bomb. It was the most nominated film in 13 categories. Okay, and it won seven Oscars out of this 13 categories. And second, first is Oppenheimer. Second highest number of nominations was for Poor Things with 11 nominations all right so Oppenheimer won best picture best best picture is one thing best director best actor okay best supporting actor best editing best cinematography you know such nominations it is one in those categories last year if you remember the best original song for 2023 was awarded to not a not a song okay this year it is given to billy eilish for what was i made for from the movie barbie okay these are some tidbits and uh, some tidbits about oscar awards they are also known as academy awards and the first academy awards were presented in the year 1929 and they are often considered the most prestigious film award in the world the awards are peer voted and are given to film artists who work on movies that are released in theaters and it, also, it is also best known award for merit in film industry Consider the following statements with reference to 96th Oscar Awards. Oppenheimer received 13 awards, making it the most awarded film at the 96th Oscar Awards. No, 13 nominations, 7 Oscars. So this is wrong. Emma Stone won the award for Best Actress for her role in Poor Things. Yes. Best Actress was from Poor Things. Best Actor was from Oppenheimer. Okay, so this is right. Belly Elish and... O. Cornwell won the award for the best original song. Yes, from the movie Barbie. Okay, so two statements are right. Okay, now four outstanding contribution to which one of the following fields is Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar prize given? It is science because Shanti Swaroop is related to CSIR. He was the founding director of CSIR and hence on his name this particular award is given. This is it for today. All the best.